Now let's move on to another argument. Determine whether the argument is valid or invalid. I am going if and only if you are not. You are going. Therefore, I'm going. We'll begin by designating I am going as statement P. You are not going as statement Q. Our first premise becomes P if and only if Q. You are going is going to end up being not Q. That's going to be the negation of Q. And I'm going is going to end up being P. Now, to determine whether or not this is going to be a valid argument, we're going to use truth tables. Notice we have two simple statements, P, Q. Let's draw in our usual first two columns. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Now, remember that what we're going to do is take each premise and put it together with an AND statement, put these each together with AND statements, and then see whether or not that implies the conclusion. So we're going to take each one individually, P if and only if Q. That's going to give us true, false, false, true. The negation of Q, false, true, false, true. We're then going to connect these two premises together with an AND statement. P, if and only if Q, AND, not Q. So we'll consider these two columns. True and false is false. False and true, false. False and false, false. True and true, true. And now we want to see whether or not these two premises put together in this manner. will imply the conclusion P. And so we're going to look at the last column we filled in as the if portion and the first column we filled in as the then portion. We have if false then true, that's true. If false then true is true. If false then false is true. If true then false is false. When we look at our last column, because the conditional is not a tautology, then we determine that the argument is invalid.